first Pasuk of this week's Parsha is an instruction for Moshe to the Jewish people to appoint judges and officers. But the, the specific word choice is an interesting thing to think about. It says in the Pasuk, Shoftim v'shotrim titen l'cha v'choshorecha. Literally translated, you should give to yourself judges and officers. Ramosha Feinstein points out that the usage of the verb of giving is appropriate when you're talking about appointments, but you wouldn't say give to you, you would say you should give someone as a judge, meaning you should appoint them as a judge. But what's meant by the phrasing, you should give the judge to you, you should give the officer to you? There's different answers to this question, but Rav Feinstein suggests that there's an important message being alluded to here, which is, it might feel like the appointment of a judge is only going to create limitations on a person. If, if I do something wrong, they're going to catch me. And even if I never do anything wrong, or even if whatever they have to do to me is appropriate, maybe it's not going to be difficult for me or painful for me, but it doesn't sound exciting to appoint judges. It sounds like the appointment of judges is a functional thing. But Ramosha Feinstein points out that if there are people of unique piety, unique morality, appointed to leadership positions within community, will all have the opportunity to learn from these individuals. And it's very significant to understand that that's a gift to every member of the community. And I think as we're in the month of Elul and we're hopefully thinking more about who we are and where we're going, that that point is a very important thing to reflect on. We all need people in our lives, and maybe even just one person in our life, who we can really look up to, who really feel that we can learn from. It could be so many different people. It could be a teacher that we once had. It could be a, a relative that we respect a great deal. There's many, many different possibilities. But to not have anybody, anybody in our lives who we can just look at them, and we could say to ourselves, if they're doing it, it must be right. Or if we have our own quandary, to pick up a phone and be able to talk to them about it. If we don't have anybody like that in our lives, we're really selling ourselves short. This is a time of year that we're trying to think about how to be better people. Being a better person has a lot to do with making the right decisions and, and rising to the occasion. But it also has to do with putting ourselves in positions to succeed. And this concept of, of having someone in our life that we can look up to is, I think, a very significant concept. Have a good Shabbos.